hello friend welcome back in our previous video we successfully update our about home about page right now I want to do and to load our another page as about if you go to our theme into the theme you can see that is also another page as the about.html right now our that will be our about.html page so now I want to do and to update it so if you want to update in our home uh, that is on our, our menu right here we have to create another name route so first of all i want to find out that menu so menu is in your wish place right now we don't need this home controller we don't need this slider that will be needed okay so right now index index i have already updated that part right now also we don't need this if you go to our body in our font in body and header right you can see that is actually our menu so here you can see that is our about so into this about i want to do and to create another new route okay i'll simply create another route It's very easy process i hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do i make it as a um, home okay home about so that will be our route name now i want to do and to create this route in our web so into this way in our about controller that will be on the get method i copy it and then i paste it so now i name it i here i name it as a home about I make it as a home about and for this our url i want to make it as a only about okay that will be as a slash about and now i want to create another page that is another method i make name it as a home about okay about so now i want to create one of the method as a home about in our ad, um, about controller so now go to our about controller into this about controller after this method i want to do and to create new one that will be the public and then function our method name as a home about great so into this home about area here right now first of all i want to do and to return one of the view page okay so here i simply return the return one of the view page so that will be our return view page and now in our font in into the font in i want to create another new file and i just name it as a about i name it as a about i name it as a about underscore page that means in our font in into the font in they can see right now there is a two file one of the index and there is a master blade okay so now i want to do i want to take another i want to create another page as a about page so if you want to create it in our font in folder i want to create another new file click as a save as sorry i want to create as a save as and now that will be the about page dot blade dot php okay php great so into the about page what exactly i have done in our index mm, into the index our two of this part will be needed i copy it and then i paste it and also we have to do we have to end it i simply end this section okay so then that will be the end section so now our header and then um, footer i have already taken it only our main part will be needed so now go to our theme that is our font in theme into the font in that is our font in theme and that is our about html you can see now i simply open it with the sublink test editor so i have already take everything in our master okay here we don't need to add it we have already take that our header header also will be not needed only our main okay that is main part will be needed so now i simply minimize our main part i simply cut copy it and then in our about page i have already take our main master with this main master we'll get that our header css jss and also we get that footer right and in our section main here now i want to do to update that main part great so now that should be work perfect now let's check this out click the save all and now if you go to our page now refresh it now if you go to our about you can see it's now show as a slash about so when you click as a about now that should be redirect redirect to our about page you can see that is our about yes you can see now that is perfectly loaded right that is perfectly loaded great great so now our main work we have to do we have to update uh, our that part that part i have already updated in our home page because all the data i have already inserted in our database right now that is the all data i want to do and to visible it in here okay now that is our about so if you go you can do the things with two different way like what exactly right before i have done right now we don't need this index we don't need this uh, we don't need this and if you go to our all home in our uh, home about i have already taken you can see 
I have already take it so you can actually take it from to this position rather than uh, if you want to get it from to the controller you can get it like if you go to our about controller from to this position you can also compact this data okay so the our post will be same like better I copy it okay copy it and then I paste it because I have already loaded on the controller in that is one of the method so from to the method now I want to do and to pass this data I want to do and to compact it so that will be the compact method and I want to compact with our variable name as a about page now we are able to access our specific one ID all the data in our about page okay so right now we don't need to add any PHP block directly I want to don't access it like right now that is you can see that is everything is same okay everything is same better I select it I want to make it a little bit left position okay so then that will be helpful I make it a little bit left position okay, and then also there is so many <laughs> data actually it's not a lot will be needed I want to make only our main part as a dynamic okay perfect now our home and that is a about here I want to done to update it so that will be our title right so I want to update I have already passed all the data uh, by the variable as about page in our about page area so now that will be in our about page i simply loaded that about page and with this i want to access our field name as a title okay our title now that should be as a dynamic so now i simply copy it and then there is also the icon icon i want to make it the same things okay so then they have another icon that, that means that is in our asset and into this asset then that will be the font int that will be the font int that is a font in and into this font in area i want to do and to add that our asset icon i simply cut it and here i paste it perfect okay and then i want to do and to display that images so that is our as src here i want to do and to simply update it i simply update uh, that one our field name our field name if you go as a about image right I have already up uploaded on the image as a about image perfect and then that will be our short description I copied and then that same process that is on the span but I want to use that span okay I want to use that span and into this span area I want to paste it that will be our uh, short title right I copied our field name as a short title great and then or another one another one I simply paste it I simply paste it so that will be our short description I copy it so now that should be as a short description right and now we have to find out our long description you can see that is actually our long description so first of all I want to check it click the save all now if you go our about page and now click the refresh yes you can see it's now successfully updated right it's not successfully updated that images our title is updated short title is updated short description is also successfully updated every data now comes from our database right great and that is our about so for the about I have also inserted some of the data so that is actually all that our long description data right and I want to do and to update it there is a p tag I only want to do and to take one p tag so the p tag is ended in here so I simply remove it and then that will be the same process I where I copy it and then I want to do I want to visible it in here so now that is our tag okay so now I want to do to visible it now that is our wish part now that will be our long description right I will simply copy that long description so that will be as a long description now if you click as a save all now let's check this out our long description also should be updated right now click as a refresh yes you can see it's not successfully updated but they have one of the issue when you insert any uh, description data like that is our long description data or if you go to our database table here you can see it's actually added by the one of the p tag classes that means on the css classes okay so here if you want to prevent this you can see it's also display as a p class on the dev there is a ul everything is actually by default it's get it so now if you want to prevent it only you have to do you have to make it as a exclamator double exclamator and also you have to end it by the double exclamator that's all 
now click as a save all now let's check this out now whatever the data i have updated in here there is some of the text right now that should be appropriate whatever the things will be updated in here that will be appropriate in particular that area yes you can see it's now successfully updated okay so it's now successfully updated that means our about part is also right now as a totally dynamic okay so it's now dynamic so now your task to make it that part so simply inserted some of the data and then that will be displayed in here so don't worry we step by step everything will be more clear so now our about part is dynamic our images is dynamic our title short title and then short description everything is dynamic everything actually comes from our database table right perfect so now that is our about is successfully updated which is totally fine which is totally fine and now oh, that is our um, title i want to update the title if you go to our uh, right now that is our about page right i have already take everything uh, in our master there is a main master if you go to that main master you can see that is our i sell personal portfolio i make it as a personal portfolio as a aryan the aryan personal portfolio this type of one of the title literally i will also customize this title for the every pages that will be updated i make it as a save all okay and now we make it as a save all and also for the home i want to update that route for the home if you go to our header into the header i want to create another route i copy it if you go to our web into this web our home route which which one our home route i have already taken on the slash so that will be on the url because here i didn't pass any name route right i have already discussed about that things with you so that then that will be here i want to use on the url okay i want to use that url url will be our which one that will be this slash home okay so now then that will be redirected to the home now click as a save all now if you go refresh it and now if you go to our home yeah you can see it's now successfully returned redirect to the home literally i will also discuss about how can add that active that means uh, active <laughs> class like right now i'm home so right now that should be as a home when you click as a about then that will be as active in our about okay so literally i will also cover it don't worry about this part so friend we successfully update our about part i hope it's you like it very much see in our next video they have some of the images right they have the multiple images i don't want to upload one by one all that images here i want to upload it at a time that means how can add that multiple image in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video